Hello everyone and welcome to or welcome back to my channel uh, whichever one applies to you if you're a first time viewer uh, go ahead and uh, give me a subscribe give me a thumbs up if you're a returning viewer and you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe give me a thumbs up uh, so I've had a, quite a few uh, subscribers ask me about my bees and why I haven't been doing any bee content and uh, the reason being is because it's been winter number one it's hard to do bee content in the winter because the bees are in the hive trying to stay warm, trying to stay alive. Well, my bees failed at staying alive. Uh, so <laughs> I don't have any bees to do content on. I don't have any bees to do bee footage on uh, because all my bees died over the winter. I have a completely empty beehive. I don't know whether they died or whether they just decided they'd rather be somewhere else and just left. Uh, I've already gone through this thing. Me and the wife came out here earlier and went through it. Uh, my wife and my, uh, and my granddaughter were going to join me on this video so they could see what was going on in it. My granddaughter wanted to see inside the beehive. When we cracked that thing open, uh, Bumblebee decided he was going to come around because he could smell that beehive. Decided he was going to come around. Well, she kind of got a little scared of the Bumblebee and they decided to leave. She had to go into the camper, uh, back into the, the uh, RV and because you know, she's just scared of bees. We finally figured out that uh, her being around a beehive while I'm out here working is probably not going to be a good idea. So uh, what I'm going to do and uh, have, an, have a, a request of uh, viewers uh, that if... Um, if you're a beekeeper, an experienced beekeeper, and I'm gonna go through this hive and show you what I got going on in there. I'm not gonna go through the honey super because the honey super just, nothing ever happened in the honey super. I had a little bit of comb, uh, comb build out in there, but there was never any kind of progress in the honey super. Um, I've got one hive body that had quite a bit of build out on it. Uh, and then I had another hive body that they didn't really hit much. So I'm gonna kind of go through some of the Go through some of the uh, the frames on here, and if you see something um, other than just running out of resources, or just uh, decided they wanted to be somewhere else, uh, let me know in the comments. Cause I'm I'm just I, I don't know. I might might be missing something. It looks like they just ran out of resources and died. Uh, usually, I've seen other videos where when they when you have a dead out and everybody was still there trying to stay alive, they're in a ball. In the middle of one frame like in the center of the hive where they just all just just gave up right there trying to keep the queen alive and uh then she died or and uh and then they just died around her uh but i'm not i didn't see that in this uh, all i saw was a bunch of bees down in the bottom uh the the screen on the bottom uh so they might have just decided they needed to go somewhere else um because it got really hot this summer i mean we were like in the the hundreds for a month and uh, then it got really we had really cold weather this winter <clears throat> down we got below freezing in this and, and in my region that's kind of crazy uh, so these bees might have been like eh, nope we're not sticking around for this we're out and uh, so yeah and I didn't I thought they would have enough resources in there uh, to um, to survive a winter uh, but I think I was wrong so I didn't put any kind of um, uh, sugar water or any kind of pollen any kind of feed on them uh, so which is probably my bad I'm that's the reason I'm thinking they might have just skedaddled and got on out of here because they didn't have the resources there was nothing close by uh, it was probably August before I actually figured out that they needed water uh, because they're just we were in a drought stage down here and didn't have any water and they were having to fly and go forage for water that's when I put water in the hive uh, which I used a, a frame feeder uh, instead of a top feeder and it's next year like I said I got two um, two more um, uh, nukes ordered and uh, I'm going to try it one more year uh, if I can't make a beehive survive through the winter next year next winter then I'm probably just not going to try it again I just don't want to be the guy that buys a new bee new colony of bees every year and has to start over every year that's not what I'm trying to do here I'm trying to actually grow some bee colonies and get a little bit of honey out of them, uh, help my, uh, my landscape out here with some wildflowers and bringing some nature and stuff in. So let's get in this beehive. And uh, if you see anything in there that's crazy, uh, let me know. Like I said, we don't have anything in the, the honey super. Here's what my honey super looks like. 
that's the center frame of my honey super right there uh, so we had absolutely nothing that happened in my in the honey super um, also down in the comments let me know what I need to do to to uh, get this ready for another another hive another um, colony of bees because I don't know whether it's okay just to move them in here with all this or if I need to clean all this old uh, old comb out or what but that that's what the honey super looked like it, 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 I absolutely had like nothing except for a little bit of wax uh, comb buildup in the honey super I don't know I think I might have tried to grow them a little fast because I started out with with this hot with this hive body right here and then uh, with a honey super and they got in there a little bit and then I decided after they got big enough that I think they got like one frame from the end on this honey on this uh, frame body and then I went ahead and put another frame body underneath them trying to get them to grow even more and they never did move down into the other frame body so I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a minute uh, but this is my my center like I said I've already been through here so everything's broke free um, we had honey over here and we still got a couple of bees just kind of hanging out eating whatever they can find in here but I know I had honey right across here uh, so and on this side too I had a little some honey in there around the edges was honey I see this kind of right here concerns me uh, does anybody know what that is right there it looks like old pollen I'm not real sure looks like some dried up nectar right around in here um, so uh, if you know what's causing that I, I don't know if that's something to be concerned about if maybe that's it just looks like old old pollen to me let's see what else we got I think we already looked at that one see we had full frames of brood full frames that we got some uh, looks like old pollen nectar stuff in here well, tell me what y'all think that is I, I just really don't know uh, but it looks like they just ran out of ran out of food if I'd been more diligent in feeding them and trying to um, and trying to uh, help them along I might still have a colony of bees in here getting ready to go out and start doing some uh, pollinating and nectarizing I don't know if that's the right word for it or not nectarizing is nectarizing a word I don't know anyway we still got a couple of bees whenever I open this thing up they come around so this is the hive body that I started out with on them y'all seen anything yet that's a concerning that I should be worried about do I need to scrape all this comb off here and redo? Will give the bee the new colony a a clean slate to start with, or will they use this old comb? I mean, if they'll use this old comb, then I might as well leave it in here, save them the energy. Because from what I've heard before is that um, wax building comb producing wax is the hardest work for a bee. So. And uh, if you can keep them from having to do it. So I don't know if it's okay to reuse. I remember when we when we first got this hive. When we put the bees in here. I pulled this thing out with a big old gnarly looking black wood on here. Good oh my Lord goodness. Yep. It was hard to believe that there was a big black wood in here. Alright. So. That's this hive body. Now let me show you what they did down here in the bottom. <clears throat> because. This is what's concerning because I was told that you put the new hive body on the bottom. That way it will encourage the bees. They like to build from the bottom up. So it will con it can encourage the bees to go to the bottom, take the queen, drive the queen down to the bottom so she can start filling up brood and building out wax. I don't know whether maybe they just didn't get far, along, far enough along to um, see this thing is... They didn't build build much down here. Uh, was I wrong in that and thinking they would move down there and start? Yeah. So they didn't build up full frames at all. None of these are full frames. 
they all got some on it but but no full frames it's like they just didn't even get down there and finish working so what if i take a heat gun you know some sort of heat source and heat that up and melt it over the entire as i had a I saw a guy one time said that um that uh, if you get some weird comb going on on your uh, frames to uh, squish it down melt it down coat your entire um entire uh, uh sheet with it and that will encourage the bees to build more even even uh comb fill it all up with comb i don't know if that's true or not he suggested it in the honey super uh so your uh, bees will fill up the whole uh, frame see the yeah i might have just pushed them too hard i might have just tried to get them to grow too fast um what do y'all think is that what is that where i messed up just by trying to grow them too fast i don't know i don't know so but there was no place where it was just a bunch of big ball of bees where it looked like they were trying to keep a queen alive uh there was a whole bunch of dead bees down, down on here which there still is some here quite a bit of junk but i just i just didn't see any evidence of like the hive dying you know together like uh didn't look like they ro rode the sinking ship down is what i guess i'm trying to say anyway uh, so y'all let me know what i need to do down in the comments if you're an experienced beekeeper i'm sure everybody's got an opinion um and i'd love to hear them uh, because i need them and i might not take your opinion and go with it i might take several opinions and think oh okay well let's, what if we try this you know so but yeah i think this next year when i put these bees in here <clears throat> when i get down here i'm gonna have two hives going this year i think what i'm gonna do is put a top feeder on here and put sugar water put sugar water in it and put a pollen patty in here which when i first got my bees down here and the first day i put them in here i did that i put sugar water on them and i put a pollen patty in it they didn't touch the pollen patty uh they drank the sugar water up like it was freaking uh well, sugar water and um but i think this year <clears throat> i'm gonna put water on them quicker uh, so they don't have to go out i um heard <clears throat> somebody say that when they uh when uh, a bee has to forge for water that's all they'll forge for so they won't um they won't go out and do pollen and nectar and all that they they got to send foragers out for water uh because they got to have water to live so having a water source either close to or on the beehive itself is a good idea so does that sound right y'all let me know in the comments what you think uh because uh i'm new to this i want this to work so bad i want to be a beekeeper i'm probably going to come out here next week next weekend and clean this hive up and i'm thinking this um all the, it looks like most of the beeswax came off this hive, so I think I'm gonna paint it. I think I'm gonna give it a good, nice. Uh, I'm gonna give it a quick sand down and uh, get all the extra, all the rest of the wax off of it, and uh, paint it white. And uh, maybe, maybe I, somebody commented a while back on one of my videos to paint my hives white because it helps keep the keep the bees cooler in there. It helps the bees keep the hive cooler. So I'm gonna give that a try. Uh, but I'll paint this one. Uh, so bee castle, bee my first beehive, bee castle. And uh, I'm going to sand it down and paint it and uh, see if that helps them out a little bit. So, But I'm going to be coming out here next weekend cleaning this hive up. So I need some suggestions on how to clean it. Or can I just stick bees in that? If I could just stick bees in that, save them some work, hey, that'd be fantastic. Appreciate y'all watching. Uh, appreciate y'all's comments. Uh, appreciate y'all's encouragement. Uh, and make it easy to do what we do here. And uh, appreciate it. And um, y'all like and subscribe. See y'all on the next one.